We're good? All right. Good morning, guys. Nice to see you all. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is, um, what did we call this? I can't remember what we, I call this class. Chair flick. No, chair flick. Oh, chair flick. There we go. So that's what we're going to do. So hopefully you have a chair. Um, ideally, it doesn't have a back on it, but um, for today, we'll, we're going to work with that. And you're going to sit on your ball. Just don't fall off. Although we can see anyway if you fell off. But I thought I'd start today with um, with a little bit of gyro, um, which is what I'm also trained in. And gyro works with it works with different angles and different planes. So it's a beautiful complement to uh, Pilates because rather than being quite so linear, we move in a lot of different we move in a lot of different planes. And I confess that I haven't been doing very much of it, but seeing I've been stuck at home, I've been revisiting it and realizing what wonderful work it is. There we go. And so we're going to work through a little bit of that idea. So don't be worried about it if it looks really weird. Just protect your back, protect everything, and just follow me through. So nobody's looking at you, because Jaro has a little bit of a different way of working. So I'll do some from the side and some from the front. But I just want you to get into the idea of just moving into a little bit of moving through the chair. So you're lifting the chest and coming back. So I'll show you from the side what that looks like as well. I'll keep organizing. So I'm planting my feet, and I just want to move through the spine and just look forward and roll it back. So just follow it organically with an inhale and an exhale. So inhale and exhale. Now the legs add a little bit of internal and external rotation, but sometimes that gets a little bit weird for people. So just do what you can and just relax and work with it. You work with your breath, take an inhale and exhale and a little inhale. So you can see that my knees are coming forward and back and working from the hip and take an inhale and an exhale and an inhale and an exhale. Now I'm going to move side to side. So I'm going to keep moving around here guys so you can see what I'm doing. And now with a wide base of support, I just want you to sway from side to side. So you just want to lift up and over. So it's as if you were trying to listen to something through your ear and you can't quite hear what it is, but you're lifting the knee or the ear up to the ceiling and just traveling from side to side. So up toward the ceiling and back down. Now shift through your feet now. So put a little bit of weight as you push back. So it's as if the weight of the leg was moving and back, so stretch through the neck. Nice, I can see you, there you go. And there's a little inhale, and a little exhale. A little inhale, and exhale, that's it. And just do a couple more, and inhale, and exhale. Good, now I'm just gonna add my arm, so I'm gonna just take a little reach and a little reach to the other side. So it's got a little bit of rhythm to it. And a little reach, and lift up and over, and reach up and over, and reach, and reach. Good, and let's do one more time. Good, now there's a little breath, and you'll hear me doing it when we're, when we're going through the exercise. I don't expect you to get, but it's a little and a little breath. So when I go forward, it's a little and a little. That's it. So it's like a little whisper. That's it. And a little. Don't worry at home. Nobody's seeing you guys. You can do this. And 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 one more time. And now. I'm going to face for you. Make, get a really wide base of support with your legs. I'm going to take the hands. The hands are going to interlace. And they're going to become through the base of my skull. I'm just going to go from here. And it's a small, so you're resting your head, but there's a little bit of an arc. I'll go from the side here to show you. And then I'm just going to lift up. So that's my position from here. So support your head. Don't strain your neck. If it's a problem with your neck, guys, readjust, please. And so I'm going to add a little bit of arc through the spine. And then I'm just going to circle. And I'm going to make figure eight with my elbow. So I'm circling, yeah. And around. So make figure eights with your elbows. And figure eights with your elbows. 
and figure eight. It's good. And I'm going to add that little and a little whip and a little whip and a little whip. Good. Now come back to your center. Now think about curling over and then back up. Now curl from the upper body and curl up and over. Use your abdominals, flex the spine, and then back and curl up and over and back. Good. Let's go one more time and curl up and over. So I want you to get that idea of that curl. Now I'm going to add the head. So I'm going to come to the side. I'm going to curl and come up. And I'm going to curl forward. So I'm looking at the floor. I'm coming up. And I'm as I come up to the other side. And I'm going to as I come up to the side. So soft through the neck, guys. Don't strain into the neck at all. That's it. And let's do four and three. Nice. And two. That's it. And last one. Good. Just come back to your center. Take the arms down. Now from here, I'm going to reach from the sides and I'm going to come up and push down. Now don't worry about my feet. I know I'm doing a lot of things at once. And then push down. So take an inhale. Arc the back. And push down. And arc. And I'll show you what it looks like from the side. Oh, you're getting stuck on this one, guys. And it goes like this. And through your center. And it goes arc. And through the center. And take an inhale. Through your center. And take an inhale. And back. Good. Now we're going to go forward. So it's going to look like this. You're going to go forward. And back. So curl. And pull the elbows in. Lift the chest. And, and then pull back. And, and pull back, and, and pull back. I'll do a couple more to the front, and send it forward, and pull back, and send it forward, and back. A couple more, and send it forward, and pull back. Good. Now from here, I just want you to take your arms across a genie position, and then you're just going to rotate. And rotate. Now, once you get the hang of that going on, so we're just going to rotate and rotate, you're going to take the hands and they're going to press the palms together as you rotate. And a little, a little, so rotate the torso and, and good. Okay, let's do four. And we're going to change it up. And three, and two. Now watch the change. Now I'm going to go sweep down. Nice. And down. I can see you, right? And sweep. And sweep. Good. And sweep. And sweep. And sweep. And sweep. Somebody's making really funny noise. And three. Four. And three. Erase, can you mute yourself? And one. And Lorraine, can you mute yourself? And we're gonna sweep. Make sure you're muted. Lorraine, can you mute? That's good. Well, Lorraine, can you mute yourself as well? Keep going. Okay. And I'm gonna sweep now. So sweep and come in. Good. And sweep. And come in. And sweep. The mute is the bottom left, Lorraine. And sweep. Good. And sweep. That's it. And sweep. Okay. Good. There you go. And let's do four. And three. I'll do a few more here. There you go. That's it. There we go. I'll do a few more. There you go. You got it. And a couple more. And sweep. And come through your center. And sweep. Good. Come through your center. Interlace your hands. So take an inhale up. And then an exhale back down. And take an inhale, lift the chest through the arms. And then exhale. And take an inhale. And exhale. Let's do four more. Take an inhale. And an inhale. That's it. 
that's it. Now next time you're going to stay up at the top. So hold it here, gang. Get a firm base and you're going to circle. So stay with one direction and circle up over your head. And circle. There you go. And circle. Elbows are a little bit bent. Good. And let's do four more. And three. And two. And last one. Yeah, we're ready to reverse, guys. So circle around and through. Good. Try your breath. That's it. And and good. Looks good. And do four more. And three. That's it. And two. And last one. Good. Just bring the arms down. Take your hands onto your legs. And now from here, I want you to hinge forward. And then you're going to roll back up. So lift. So hinge forward with the chest. And then curl it back, push into your legs. And hinge. So I'll show you from the side again what it looks like. So it goes hinge and then roll it back. And then hinge and roll it back. So hinge from your hips. Take an inhale and roll back. Let's go one more time. And hinge and roll back. Now we're going to reverse it this time. So you're going to go down. And then lift up and curl it through. So curl it through and up. And then curl it through and up. And curl it through and up. Good. Now bring your legs together. I'll come to the front for this one again, guys, so you can see. Bring your legs right together. And then you're going to come down the side of your leg, push into that leg, and then I want you to reach. And then you're going to switch sides. So you're going to come to the other side of the leg, sweep up on a diagonal, and come back down. Good. There you go. Slide down the leg. And reach. And back. Good. Slide down your leg. And reach. And back. Good. Let's do four more. And four. That's it. And three. So nice diagonal sweep. And last two. That's it. And last one. And then come back. So our last little one we're going to do in that general mode is you're going to start with the leg out to the side. So I'm going to lean back a little bit. I'm going to cross the leg over. I'm going to come forward. I'm going to take the leg out. This is a little tricky. Hang with me on this one. And then take the leg up to your side and reach toward the leg out to the side. And then we're going to switch. So you're going to take that other leg up, forward. Reach back, lean back, send that leg forward. Take the leg out to the side and reach. Try the other side one more time. And up. Cross over. Hinge forward and out to the side. Take a little stretch. Last one. And take it out. Come back and over. And out to your side. And back. To your center and then roll the shoulders so that's our Jarvis portion of that for today this it's a lot I know that and roll the shoulders and then come around the other way that's it and then from there I want you to take bigger circles so you're gonna look behind with your hand and look and look so follow your eyes with your or your fingers with your eyes sorry and let's do four and three, two, good. And then just reverse, so swim back and swim back. So add a little bit of rotation through your torso and rotate and rotate, good. And rotate and rotate. Let's do two more. And rotate and rotate, good. And then reach up, grab a wrist. It don't, doesn't matter what side you're on, I can't see what side you're on. And then just take a little lift over to the side. So a little side bend. Use a little bit of pressure on that wrist. Hang on to that wrist. And then switch up and over. Grasp your wrist. Lift up and over. And take a nice lateral stretch from here. And then just take the arm down. And just 
take a lateral stretch like you might know from here. And then up and over. And reach. And then back up. So we're going to come to a standing position. So have something to hang on to. Um, hopefully you have a chair. Uh, or something to hang on to here. And so that we can use, use your chair. Now from here, I'm going to lean into the chair. I'm going to take one, one leg back behind me. There you go. I can see it. And you're just going to circle through the ankle. So I went back to a little bit of jar of for this one. And just work the ankle joint. And you're going to do four. And three. And two. And then get ready to reverse. So come around the other way. And two. That's it. And three. Good. Do four more. And go four. And three. And two. And last one. Good. Switch sides. And just ankle mobility. There you go. And two. And three. My knee's swirling around, but it's from my ankle. And four. Let's do four more. And do four. And three. And two. That's it. I can't remember if I reversed, guys. So go the other way. I can't remember if I did. And two. What's wrong with this live stuff? Three. Can't fix it. And go four more. And three. And two. And last one. Good. Hopefully your chair is going to stay where it is there. Now come up onto your come up onto your toes, and you want to circle. So you want to circle with the knees. So from the front, it looks like this. And I circle with my knees. And circle. So come off your heels. And circle. And circle. And circle. Good. Let's reverse. And come around the other way. And two. And three. Let's do four more. And go four. And three. And two. Let's do one more. And then walk your feet back. So you get a nice long stretch. You'll walk away from your chair. Get a nice, nice long stretch. Feel free to bend the knees. That's it. Just take that nice long stretch. And then come back again. And then let's roll through the spine. So walk your feet up just a little bit, guys, so that you can move into a little bit of flexion and a little bit of extension. So round the back. Scoop the abdominals in. Round the back. Length along. That's it. So roll it up. Use your abs and lengthen out. And roll it up and lengthen out. Good. And roll it up and lengthen. So just visualize your Pilates. You've got that hand, the hand on the box, and you're pushing away with the box. And back. And let's do four more. That's it. And three. And two. Let's go one more. And around the back. Now step one foot forward, doesn't matter which foot it is. Take the other foot back, and I want you to just draw your hip back. Just take a nice long stretch. Feel free to bend that front knee a little bit. That's it. Stretch and breathe. Stretch and breathe. And then just sit. Change your other side. Take the other foot back. Pull up. Hip back with the foot that is forward. Take a nice long stretch. That's it. And then bring both feet together. And let's just roll it back up if that works for you. And then just come all the way up. We're going to move into a little bit of squats just to waken up the, the lower body a little bit. So get your feet about hip width apart. I can have my butt facing toward the chair. And then I'm just going to sit back. And up, good. So sit your weight back onto your heels. Keep a nice long line through the back, light through the back of your neck. And sit, press through your heels, and lift, good. And sit back, and lift, good. And sit. That's it. And sit, good. I see ya. And sit. Good. And let's do four. And three, and two, and last one. Hold it there, give it a little pulse, small pulse to the knees, and go four, and three, and two, and last one. Then lower yourself all the way down. Make sure you look back, make sure the chair is there, guys. 
and then bring that, bring the legs back, and then I just want you to lift and lower. So lift and lower. So lift the heels high, and lift and lower, lift, good, and lift, and just do a couple more, and hopefully you have bare feet for the next one. So I want you to just walk forward. So as if I was gonna pull the mat with my toes, and I'm just gonna walk my feet away. That's it, and then try to reverse it, so that's it. Yeah, little feet exercises, and send it back, and send it back, then send it forward. So it's like you're gripping your, your bath mat, and you're pulling your feet forward, that's it. And use the feet, that's it. And then you're gonna reverse, so toes, and back, and back. That's it. And then just run through the feet. So just run through your feet like you're floaties on the reformer. And just run. And let's do four. And three. And two. And last one. Good. Now be careful with this one, guys. We're going to do a little bit of triceps. So don't lose your chair on me on this one. But I am going to come a little bit forward. So make sure that your chair is secure. I'm going to lift my butt off. And then I'm just going to lower and push. So a little tricep press. Drop your butt down. Press. Extend the arms. And drop. And press. Good. And drop. And press. Good. And let's do four. And three. How are we doing? And two. And last one. Bring yourself all the way up into the chair. Now this one is, I'm stealing from Jairo on this one again. So I'm going to lean back. I call these Geiger counter legs. So I want to be on the edge of my chair. Then I'm going to lean back. This is going to be tricky, and on the ball, be really careful because this could be this could be the last time you do this exercise. And then I'm going to lift the legs off, and I'm going to reach the legs out and around. So it's like a whip kick. So I send it out. So here's the Geiger counter. My toes. So I'm leaning back and circle. Lean back and circle. Lean back and circle. Can we do four? And go four. Yeah, this definitely won't work in the ball in. And three, and two, and last one. Now get ready to reverse. So now you go out. That's it. So reach long, pull the legs together. And three, and four. That's it. And five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good. Bring the legs down. Let's stand up, so bring your legs forward a little bit, hinge forward, lift yourself up, and then bring your arms down to your side. We're going to do a few roll downs, so watch if you just stood up too fast. Make sure you give yourself a moment before you roll down, just so you don't, um, you don't get dizzy. I'll just stand sideways so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to get tall, so take an inhale, swamp monster. Bend your knees a little bit, and then exhale as you come forward. So roll it down, bend your knees as much as you need to. Bring the hands down to the floor. Take an inhale. Scoop the abs in. Pull your shoulder blades wide and apart. And then exhale. So head is the last thing to come up. That's it. Take an inhale. This time we're just going to roll. So nod in the chin to the chest. Create a shape through the body. As you exhale, pull the abdominals in towards your spine. Roll down by your knees as much as you need to. And then take an inhale. Press through the feet. Widen through the shoulder blades. Send the roll back up. Good. Let's go one more time. So take an inhale, nod that chin. Find that shape of the body. Exhale as you're coming over the beach ball. Come down. Now bend your knees as much as you need to this time to get your hands onto the floor. Bend your knees a lot. And then see if you can straighten the legs up, bringing your head a little closer towards your legs. And then bend the knees. And then press. That's it. And then bend. And press. Let's go one more time and take a bend and press. Now turn your feet into a V position. So take your heels together. Now bend your knees. Knees come up to your side and straighten up. If you need to, you can always come up on the chair. I can always do it from here. It will work just fine. And then bend and press so not so low to the floor. And let's just do a couple more. That's it. And then we're going to roll all the way up. So draw the inner line of the legs together. Push your shoulder blades wide. It'll be a little bit more of a, a balance challenge. And then roll it all the way back up. Speaking of balance, we are going to 
So make sure that you have something to hang on to for this one, gang. And we're going to start into a lunge. So pick your pick whichever leg. So I'm going to hang on for safety from here. And then I'm going to move into a lunge position. So get nice and wide through the, through the legs. And then from here, I'm going to lift up, hold, and then back down. So if I'm hanging on, I'm here. And I'm going to lift up and back down. And push off that back leg. Maybe I'm hanging on. That's it. And step way back. Down five. And six. Go a little lower than I can, guys. I haven't got much range going on here yet. But eight. And nine. That's it. Now hold the next one up. Hold it here. Hold it here. Now see if you can move into a little bit of a balance from there. And then back up. A little air desk. Feel free to hang on, guys. And two. That's it. And three. That's it. And four. We'll do, we're just doing six. And five. And I feel like you can probably already feel it. And six. Good. And then just switch to your other side. So get a wide base on your on your lunge from here. Watch the knee aligning with your with your um, over your ankle, not over the toe, guys. And then lunge, and then back up. Good. And then lunge, and back up. Good. Lunge big. That's it. Four and five. I can't remember how many we did. Six and seven. And let's do eight. Let's hold it there. Hold it there. Find your balance challenge. And then send it back. And back up. Good. And then send that leg back. Two. And three. And four. And five. Let's go one more. And six. And then bring that leg down. Shake it out a little bit, guys. And now we're going to go into a little bit of, I don't know if this is going to work very well on the map, but let's give it a try. So we're going to do a little bit of standing Pilates. So we're going to start with hummocks, standing. So you can also do it as seated, but I'm going to try standing today. So you're going to get yourself into a strong stance. I'm going to go open wide to the chest and the shoulders. I'm going to get my Pilates hundreds hands, and without doing this part, I'm just going to add the arms. So there's going to be, just give it a try. So do a little pulses first, a little pulses with the arms, a little pulse, and pulse, and pulse, and pulse. Let's add the breath. So we're going to go, and two, three, and four, and breathe in, two, three, and out, and breathe in, and breathe out, and breathe in, and breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. I have no idea where we are. And inhale. And out. Let's do a couple more sets. And inhale. And last set. And out. Two. So, let's try. So now, I'm going to find something to hang on to. We're going to do, this is a little version of single leg stretch. So, I'm going to take a little curl forward. I'm going to take one hand on the inside, one hand on the outside, and then I'm going to just switch. So, same on the other side. So, I'm going to curl it forward. Take one hand on the inside, one hand on the outside. It's a bit of a balance challenge. And then curl, whoopsie. And then bring it forward and back. And then bring it forward, curl it forward and back. Couple more. And then curl it forward and back. Let's go one more down. And then bring it forward and back. Are you guys breathing on that one? That was a toughie. So now we're going to go into a little bit of leg circles. So I don't think this will work very well with your mat. 
So we're going to do the same thing they would do on the reformer, except now we're just standing. So you might need something to hang on to in this one. So we're going to pretend we're ballet 101. So you're going to start with a little bit of extra rotation through that hip. And then we're going to take the leg out. So we're going to just come around and circle. So try to keep the torso steady. Circle around with your toe. That's where it worked very well. Probably won't work very well on carpet either, guys. And out and around. Stay steady. And circle. And let's do four. And three. Maybe I'm hanging on. And two. And last one. Reverse. So send the leg back and out and around. So stay steady through the torso. That's it. Remember everything you know from Pilates. And four. Good. And last four. And three. And two. And last one. Other side. So, start from the other side. Hang on if you need to. Don't if you don't. Externally rotate through the hip. Send the leg forward. And out and around. Hope they got a little better range than I do. And three. And four. Good. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. Get ready to reverse. So send it out and around. And two. And three, nice ballet arms, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and last eight, and bring it back. Now this one gets a little bit trickier, it's a little bit more challenging, but we're going to go into a little curtsy. So I'm going to take the front leg forward, and then back behind. I'm going to take the leg forward, now, most of you should be able to get a little bit lower than I am but you're gonna take it forward and take the leg back. And take the leg forward. So this leg is nicely back and back. Now if you wanted to make it a little bit more challenging, take the foot off and then come around. And take the foot off and then move around. If that's going, no, that's not happening today, Joe. And you can add a little arm. And let's do four. And three. And two. And last one. And then let's try the other side, see how that works out. So, external rotate, take the foot forward, start slow. That's it, I still haven't got too much rotation there, guys, but feel free to get back a little bit more than I do. So send it forward, and back, and forward. So you slide the toe along. Now, if that's too easy, you know, I need a little bit more of a challenge. And then take it, that foot off, and back. Good, maybe you want to add the arm. So now the arm's coming, and then open. Maybe my foot's on the floor. That's it. And let's do four. That's it. And three. And new. And last one. And then bring it towards your chair. And you could use this in a ball in a little bit more with your feet back out a little bit. But I'm going to take my hands onto the side. So my first option is gonna be just to add some push-ups with my elbows out to the side, bend your knees, and then add some push-ups using your chair. Elbows track out to the side, forehead coming down toward my chair. That's it. Now let's do four, and three, and two, and last one. Good. Now I'm going to change my arm position. I'm going to come so that my elbows come a little bit closer in toward the sides of my ribs. And then I'm going to do a little tricep press from here. Good. And go three. And four. And five. And six. Good. And seven. And eight. Now assuming you have a stable chair, I want you to bring your forearms down onto the chair, bring your legs back, see if you can find your plank position. So drop your hips down, open up through your chest and your shoulders. That's it, breathe, 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 breathe. We're thinking about that guy that did the plank for eight hours. Why, we don't know. That's it, breathing. And then just come back, take a little rest for a second, guys, and we're gonna do that one more time. So feel free, you can always do this on the floor. And then come back down. So get a narrow base of support. Stabilize through your shoulders. Walk your feet back. Drop the hips down. 
Maybe you want to add a single leg this time. Maybe the other side. And bring the leg back down. And then just walk your feet in. And then just roll back up. So come all the way back and up, guys. Take a little stretch, roll the shoulders back. That's it. And let's add a little bit of spiral through the upper body. And reach. And reach. Good. And let's do four. And three. And two. And last one. Shake it up. We are going to go um, down to the floor if that's okay. And just do a little bit of work on the floor. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And then you're going to come down to your mat. Come here. So bring yourself down onto the floor if you can. Bend your knees up. Take your hands underneath your hamstrings. And I just want you to do a little exhale back. And then inhale back up. Promise that this is the only time you'll have to get up. And then exhale, round it back. So curl back. And then take an inhale to come up. And then exhale, wide to the shoulders, and back up. Good, let's do a couple more. And curl it back, and up. And one more time, and curl it, and back. Let's take the hands, interlace them like genie, or cross them over, sorry, and then rotate down one side, and rotate up. Take an inhale, exhale, rotate to the other side, Back up and rotate and back and rotate and back up. Let's just do a couple more and then rotate and back and rotate and then send the legs out. So from here, we're going to do a little bit of um, a little bit of rotation. So take your hands up to the side, turn your palms up to the ceiling. And it's going to look like this. We're going to rotate to one side or the other. It doesn't matter which side you're rotating to. And we're going to pulse it for three. So it's going to go one, two, three, and back to your center. And it's going to go one, two, three, back to your center. And it's going to go one, two, three, back to your center. And one, two, three, back to your center. Now we're going to add on. So now go again. So go one, two, three, Back to your center, open up the legs and put the hand down that you just used and take a little lateral stretch and then come back, bring the legs back together, go to the other side and it goes one, two, three, come back to your center, open the legs and then come up and over to the other side, come back to your center, bring the legs together, there it goes, one, two, three, back to your center, open up the legs, same side, doesn't matter, nobody's looking and back to your center, bring the legs together. And one, two, three, back to your center. And then just take a little reach from side to side. Good. And then come back from here. Take a little hinge. Feel free to bend your knees. And take a little hinge. Now I want you to add a little bit of what we did before. And then you're going to roll back. So lift up and through the body. And then curl as you come back. And take an inhale. And exhale, bend your knees as much as you need to. And send it out. And back. Good. Now reverse. So send your head through the hole. And then come back up. And send your head through the hole. And back and up. And send your head through. And back up. Let's go one more down. And send your head through. And then back. And up. And then just take a little stretch to one side. So reach back behind you. Take a nice little twist to the body. And then just send it to the other side. So open up the chest. Take a little twist. And then come back to your center. We're just going to come back down. So use your hands if you need to to roll down. So bring your hands down. I promise we won't get up again to the end. 
and then bring your feet back in. So you're in a little bit of a bridge position. Feet are about as wide as your hips. You're gonna take an inhale, and next I want you to curl the spine, roll up through the spine, take an inhale at the top, and then exhale to articulate down, and just roll it down one vertebrae at a time. And then take that inhale, scoop the pelvis, roll it up, take an inhale at your top, exhale to articulate down. That's it, good. And then we're gonna add the arms. So try to bring the arms up. As you're rolling up, you're gonna come with your arms up over your head. Now leave your arms where they are. And then take an inhale, don't look at me, just listen to my words. And then exhale as you're articulating down. And then lower your arms all the way down to your side. One more time, so take an inhale. Exhale, scoop the pelvis up. Lift the arms up over the head. Take an inhale at the top. Start rolling down, bring your arms with you. And then come all the way back and down, articulating through the spine. Hold it there. And we'll just do a few lifts in a neutral spine. So press through your feet, engage your glutes and hamstrings, lift up, and then lower the hips back down. And take an inhale, lift, and lower. That's it, and lift. Keep the knees tracking towards your ceiling, and lower. Let's do four more. Keep looking up at your ceiling, guys. Go four. And three. That's it. And two. And let's go one more time. And lift. And come all the way back and down. Let's take one leg up to the ceiling. Use your hands on the back of your hamstring. Flex your foot. And bring that leg. If, if you need a little bit more, you might want to extend that bottom leg. That's it. And then take that leg, use your hand for support, take that leg across the midline a little bit. So cross it over the other bent leg. Take a little IT stretch. And then just cross that leg over and let's just do a, the figure four and then have a little stretch from there. And then just switch sides. So take the other leg up. Flex the foot. And then bring that leg across. That's it, little IT stretch. And then to your figure four. And maybe reach through. Lots of options on that one. And then bring both feet down. And then take the arms up to your side. And just rotate from side to side. Maybe taking your head in opposition. And then just take the knees from side to side. And then you're just going to roll over to one side game. So however you can get onto your knees, we won't be here for very long, but you're going to just tuck your little toes under and then round the back. And then I want you to sit back towards your heels and then just come forward and we're going to move into a bit of an arch this time. So you're going to move into an arch and then move back into a curl, and curl it back, so scoop through. Keep your toes tucked, and it's as if you're pulling the mat away with your arms one way and your feet the other way, and curl it back, so scoop it back, scoop it back, scoop it back, sit back towards your heels, and then curl, that's it, and send it back, and maybe take it all the way down into a child's pose, maybe a wider base child's pose, Rest your head possibly, use your hands if you need to. And then just bring yourself under all fours and we'll just do a little puppy way for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Puppy way. And then you're gonna get yourself out of there. Maybe you're gonna send yourself back onto your feet. Maybe roll it up through the spine or just get yourself off however you can. Use your hands onto your legs. Maybe just watch when you're coming up that you don't get dizzy. And come all the way up to standing and take a big hurrah. Pat yourself on the back for a job well done and thank you so much for joining us. I hope to see you again tomorrow or Thursday. Bye guys. <laughs> I wanted to say hi to Anne and congratulations.